Yes, and also, yes, uh, I, I, right now I'm not contemplating having an audio book. I want people to learn how to read the English language if they possibly can. And or, uh, at some point, I would like to see the book that I have produced uh, be produced in other languages so that people don't have to learn English. I mean, even though I have written mine in English, because that's the only language that I'm familiar with. But the people who are already familiar with the English language to the extent that they speak it and can understand it, but maybe cannot read nor write it, I would suggest that all of those people try to learn to read and write the English language that they are already speaking, because uh, it will facilitate them in that language better, yes. and and also help them to learn other languages better. Mm -hmm. You have to start with something, so you start with what you have. And an excellent, not only read the basic book, the code book that I have produced, and the word guide also in the English language, but also read the English language dictionary. I mean, uh, just... If you have a lot of time, and sometimes it takes a lot of time to really, you know, if you really just want to relax and really absorb what you're reading in a dictionary, a dictionary would be very boring for most people to read, but I don't find that true at all. I find it just turning the pages of a well, comprehensive dictionary in the English language. is I absorb quite a bit. I, it kindles my interest, just the words. You don't do it in just in one stretch. You just pick it up and look at a few words every now and then. I think that's the best approach. That way it doesn't become boring to you. Yes. And it doesn't wear your eyes out either, <laughs> because usually the, hang with the, the words are very small in very small print. But mm -hmm. you just pick out a few words, learn those words, and then associate, associate those words with other words, because all words are associated right. with other words. Really? Otherwise, you couldn't have definitions of words. That's, that's correct. Yes, but oh, you right. learn a lot about the mechanics of language, and then you learn a lot about how people will behave, because yes. people behave according to the way that they have received mm -hmm. language. And you, you use, that's why I wrote the word guide, so that the word guide is designed to be counter-racist in nature. And uh, in other words, it helps you to think, speak, and act in a counter-racist fashion by using the definitions. And mostly, if uh, people who have looked at the word guide, they have seen that you do what? You ask a lot of questions ask about questions words. Mm -hmm. Yes, why? Because what did I? What do I say all the time? The, the problems are solved through, through the process of what? Questions and answers. Questions and answers. So you ask a lot of questions about every word that a person uses. That sounds like it may not make sense to you until that word does make sense to you. 